Hey, fellow gliders, welcome back. Today, we're gonna create a leaderboard for your app. So the premise is you have users, those users have been accumulating points, and now you wanna rank them on a leaderboard. To do that, we're gonna learn some of Glide's brand new plugin columns and work with arrays in Glide. So if you're not familiar with arrays, buckle up, here we go. So if you take a look at the data editor here, it's very, very simple. I have people, I have emails, I have a photo, and I have this blank space for points. Let's give these users some arbitrary points. Let's say this one has 10, this one's got 20, uh, 54, 23, and let's give another person 20 as well. So we have some somebody tied here for third, it looks like, right? All right, so that being said, now we're gonna create some arrays in Glide and then manage those arrays. So the first thing we wanna do here when we're gonna rank these points is to put these points into a Glide array. To do that, we are gonna do a lookup column and we'll call this points array. The lookup is going to be of the users points. And when you do that, you see that those points have been basically transposed and repeat themselves in every row. Let's not give ourselves additional rows. Okay, so from here, what we're gonna do is sort this array from lowest to highest. So we're gonna use one of Glide's brand new columns called the sort array. So if you look down over here, we see array, and then we can sort the array. And we'll call this sort points array. The values will be our points array. And you see that it places them in numerical order. Now, in this case, we want the person who has the most points to be first. So we need to flip this array. We need to reverse it. So Glide has a column for that too. We're going to call this reverse sort points <laughs> array. All right, so we're going to go here to array. And now we see reverse array. And we're going to choose our sort points array. And now you see that our points array has been reversed. So now the person who has the most points is first and the least points is last. Now in order to translate uh, this value to a place in that array, we need to use another one of Glide's experimental plugin columns here. And we're gonna call it, let's see, we're first we're gonna select the array. This is going to be the find element index. And we're gonna call this, um, index of the points array. So our values here is gonna be the reverse sort points array, and we're gonna find the points that the players have. So I'm gonna select our points column. Boom. All right, so our precision, we'll just set it to one, no group separators, and done. All right, so now we can see the person who has the most points is found first in the array. And when you're dealing with arrays in coding, uh, you always start with zero. So this first put this first value in that first position in the array is has the position of zero. That next one has one, two, three, and so forth. So that's why you see that this person who has 54 points was found in position zero. It's the index of zero in that array. Now, we don't want to give this person the zeroth place. We want to give them first place. So all we need to do is add one to this value. We can do a math column for that, and we'll call this index plus one. So we'll just type the word index. It should find that column, and it did. And we'll do plus one one and again the precision of one no group separator and done so great so now we have our points has been converted to a rank 54 is first place the next highest is 23 and second place the next two are tied for third place there is no fourth place because that fifth person is last and is then thus in fifth place so the last thing we need to do is convert this number to an ordinal number one being first, two being second, and so forth. We could create some sort of fancy if then else column, but luckily Glide has a column for that too now. So if I add a new column here, and I'm gonna call this index 
to rank, we're going to choose a number ordinal column. And all we have to do is just select that number. In this case, it's our index plus one. Boom. So now we have our 54 points in first place, 23 in second, and so forth. And now we can display this however we'd like. So if I come back over here to our app, here we have our people in some sort of order here. And if we want to, we can either display the points or the rank or both. Um, a couple ways we can do that. If we do a list column here, we could display you know details being the rank and then the caption being the points, something like that. Eh, not exactly in love with that. Uh, we could do our cards. So for image, we select nothing. Header could be our rank, like this. Um, and let's get rid of our title and details. And we'll come down over here to this section. For avatar, we'll choose photo. Uh, avatar text can be the name. And then for the caption can be the points. Something like this. That could work. And now all we have to do is sort these values. And we can just sort them by the points because the points correlate to the score. So under options here, we can sort by the points in reverse order where the highest is first. And there we go. So now we have a nice little leaderboard. We're first, second, third, and fifth, and so forth. Um, and here you can do some fun things. Like, for example, if you wanted to, you could create a... Um, a details view rather than a list view of this app where first place is on top, right? Uh, let's, I'm not sure if we can copy this, we can't, but let's go ahead and um, see what that might look like. So if I change this to a details view and just kind of scrap everything here, um, I'm gonna add an inline list. And this inline list is going to be of the user sheet, just like so, and we'll recreate that cards view here. Maybe the person who's in first place right, should have their information front and center. So we're going to filter out if you're first. So we're going to filter where index to rank is not first. Uh, we could have also done where index plus one doesn't equal one or where uh, index points array doesn't equal zero. A couple different ways we could do that, right? And then we'll duplicate this. And for this first inline list, we're going to do the reverse. So where index points array equals zero. And now this person is on top. Let's get rid of our titles here on these inline lists. We don't need those. And then on this first inline list, we can uh, just change the style. So maybe we still want, maybe we'll do tiles. And we'll make it circle, we'll kind of feature our first person here. Holy cow, that's big, but that's okay. Um, so title can be their name, right? Details can be their points, make it large, right? And then we just need to display their rank. We could do that actually with the title in first, something like that. Um, or we could place, what else we could do? We do a square instead of a circle. And so then that way we get a tag down here for first. Something like this, but you, you get the idea, right? So you can actually uh, feature your very first person up at the board here. And then everybody else is kind of underneath that person. So lots of things you can do with a leaderboard, but hopefully you learned something new about using arrays in Glide and how you can create a nice customized leaderboard for your app. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment below or reach out to me at Twitter at rpetito. And as always, thanks for watching.